Hi there. I want to share some work I've been doing for the new version of Venger 1.6, which is going to be coming out soon. And this is to do with collections. I wanted to improve the user experience of dealing with collections because at the moment there's some things that could be improved. So uh, right here in my demo project, I have about 92 um, collections. If we expand that, we'll see there's quite a few and the nested like three levels deep or so. Um, this project also has about 12,000 product variants. So here's the issue. I have a collection here and I want to edit the uh, contents and this is done through the concepts of filters. And um, here we have, for example, a facet value based filter. So any product variants which contain any of these, which have any of these facet values applied will be in this collection. Now what happens when I want to edit the contents? I want to change, say, take some of these um, filters away. How do I know what's going to then end up in the collection? Well, the answer is at the moment it's very hard to know. The only way to figure that out is it to actually save those changes and in the case where you have the search index being buffered like I do here, I then need to go and run those pending changes and then I need to come back to the collection and then I need to just go and look at what are the contents. And um, this is kind of a slow, uh, unpleasant workflow. Uh, by the way, everything's running a bit slow here because my screen record is going. Um, anyway, how can we improve on that? So. Coming up in version 1.6, we'll have this new concept, which is that we can actually do, if we if we change the um, the collection filters, for example, here, we have this live preview of the contents. So I can now make changes here. And as you see right here, the collection contents results changes 295, take away that 293. And I see like in real time what's in there. And I can also, of course, filter, I can go through the pages, I can go and check, oh, is that particular product variant that I want to be in there, is it actually in there? And verify this in real time. Now this isn't actually changing the, the collection, it's not um, making any changes in the database, it's all just a live preview. So I can add another condition, let's say um, we want to base it on the name, let's see, find ones that contain paint, paint, oh, let's remove that filter. Okay, something to fix there, but um, I hope you get the idea. So this this um, is going to vastly speed up the um, the workflow of dealing with collections. Okay, so I discarded those changes. Nothing was actually changed. It was all just a live preview. Now the second thing is when you've got a lot of collections, and you kind of want to drill down and find. A particular collection that's deeply nested and then let's see the acrylic paint here I want to edit that I go and edit it make some changes and then when I come back uh, currently what happens is that you come back to the the top level list and now what's going to change in version 1.6 is actually as you can see the state of the list is preserved and this is done by um, putting the expanded um, collection IDs into the URL so this, you know, you can even refresh the page and you'll get the exact same view with the exact same um, collections expanded. Uh, same if I enter a, a filter term here and filter it down to oil paint and then I go into oil paint and then I come back out, then you'll see that the filter is still applied and we'll see just that view that we had before. So that's another feature that's gonna really improve, I think, the user experience of dealing with collections. All right, that's just a preview. It's not even pushed yet. I'm going to push it now uh, after I fix that little error that I ran into. Um, uh, that's coming out in 1.6. When's that going to be? The next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, there's uh, most of the work's done. The major work in 1.6 has been a lot of performance stuff, which I will do a separate video on because it's pretty interesting. Um, but that's what's coming up. Okay, I hope you get to enjoy this soon.